Hello, David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, I'm partially dressed in a tuxedo outfit because I'm talking about a tuxedo accessory. You know, that's not fair. That's not fair. It's not fair to call these shoes an accessory because they're, well, <laughs> they're a pinnacle. They really are a hub to themselves. I'm here today to talk about and do an unboxing of the James, the James from Crockett and Jones. So I'm sure by now you probably have heard of these. You may have seen these. This is my reaction to them. So um, I knew I had to have these when they came out because even though these are not seen in No Time to Die, they're not from a particular movie, Crockett and Jones, after many, many years of being associated with the Bond films, were able to do a true 007 collab. And what they came up with is pretty darn special. So let's open the box, shall we? I don't even have to ask what's in the box because we know what's in the box. All right. So first of all, nice little note from Crockett and Jones. Thank you so much. Very hospitable people. Aha. Oh, all right. So let's just take a look real quick. Um, and you can see that the box itself is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what this says up here. In celebration of the 25th James Bond film, No Time to Die, we present to you the James, a whole cut Oxford for the highest standards for even the most daring of occasions. Crockett and Jones has been manufacturing shoes in Northampton, England since 1879. As a family business, we are proud to continue and build upon the legacy of our founders. The production of high quality Goodyear welted shoes remains very labor intensive and requires a highly skilled workforce. It takes more than 200 separate operations during an eight week period to produce a pair of Crockett and Jones shoes, limited edition. And these are limited edition. That's from Jonathan Jones. And yes, that is family member. And this is a family run business, lest we forget that. These are limited to 500 pieces. Now, many of you are saying that is a one hell of a presentation case. And I get it. If you have a small apartment, you'd, you'd have trouble with this. But I love presentations. Um, the box itself has almost like a, a seal, like a rubberized type finish. It's not rubber, but it's got this strange leather smoothness to it, if you will. And then inside, it is entirely flocked. And so let's take out the individual pieces because first of all, we have a shoe brush. That's not any shoe brush. You can see right there. It is a 007. It looks like, it looks like I'm doing a, a toothpaste commercial. It's a 007 shoe brush. You've got those wonderful bristles. And the question is, will I ever shine a pair of shoes with this? Because it's so nice. This is leather. I'll get up nice and close so you can see it on the outside. Absolutely beautiful. But there's other accoutrements inside. You've got a shoehorn to put on these beautiful shoes. And the shoehorn also has 007 emblazoned. Yes, if you go to the trouble of doing a collab and work, working with Eon, you're going to emblazon your things with a 007 logo. It's a pride thing, right? So look at that, flips out, beautiful metallic, maybe that's stainless, I don't know. I'm not a metal metallurgist, but beautiful nonetheless. And then we, of course, we've got the sapphire, which is the best, uh, shoe polish to make sure these beautiful things are taken care of. All right, so let's get to the piece de la resistance. It sounded actually pretty legit. So, <laughs> well, of course, look at the shoe bag. All right, the shoe bag is, whoa, <laughs> sorry. All right, first of all, the shoe bag, very nice. But why was I good, like going, whoa? You know when you walk into a restaurant and you smell something amazing? I just got that, um, but not pizza, it's leather. The whole room smells like a leather factory. And oh, here it is. All right, so take a look at these. Absolutely beautiful. Um, you can see there's almost truly, and I, I hope the lighting is picking this up adequately, there's almost a mirror-like image to it. And folks, look at, look at the shoe tree. 007 shoe tree. I'm just going to say it. That's total badass. I'm just going to say it. That is so cool. And look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. 
I, I, I can't get these resold because look at that. It actually says 007. So if you're an agent and you cross your legs at a party, your, your cover's blown. So if you're an agent, don't wear these. But what a great homage. It's very subtle. It's on the bottom of the shoe. It's not emblazoned across or the back. But look at this shoe. This thing is sex. I mean, that is just beautiful. Look at the rounded toe. And you know what? We've got to talk about some details about this in general. Here's a quote from Siderat and Lalarbe, the costume designer for No Time to Die. The tuxedo is the most iconic of the James Bond wardrobe looks. And the finishing touch of the tuxedo is, of course, the right pair of shoes. A shoe will finish off any look and make it perfect from a visual standpoint. When Bond walks into a room, he has to be immaculate and sharp, but also subtle, elegant, yet understated. Inspired by this perfection combination, Crockett and Jones are proud to announce James. Made from the finest box calf and featuring a signature hand grade leather sole, James is a 007 limited edition. The shoes crafted from the smallest skins with the tightest break, all sourced from the finest European tanneries. The black box calf perfectly highlights the contours of last 348, a classic chiseled form and arguably the most innovative last from a generation of shoemakers. Okay, so as I'm, as I'm holding this beauty, taking in the aromatherapy, the scratch and sniff moment, I've, I'm curious, what, what are these things going to look like when they're on? Um, let me quench that thirst, if you don't mind. Let's try these on. Okay, got my uh, very appropriate socks on. Got my 007 shoehorn, obviously my shoe. And uh, let's put these puppies on. Oh, they just slipped right in like slippers. So I have the shoe on right now. I've been walking around uh, with it and it is absolutely comfortable as anything. By the way, these are not tuxedo pants. They're just plain black pants, but I thought you could see them very well. So don't worry about the fact that they don't go very down very far. I want you to see the shoe right now. So the shoe fits perfectly. Um, I am an eight and a half E and that is a UK size folks. That's like a nine and a half, nearly a nine and a half US size. Um, and it just feels great. I'm wiggling my toes. You can see the movement. That is because the calf is super subtle and soft. All right, now you can hear, see the side of it um, with a human foot in it, which is great. <laughs> uh, it's not slipping in the back. I've got room, but not too much room. Uh, and again, these are super comfortable. You know, my, my foot doesn't come out that much. It's got a nice feel to it. It is comfortable. That's the thing about, I found with Crockett and Jones shoes and boots in general, they just feel really good just slipping them on uh, right out. There really isn't a break in period like a lot of other shoes, but I think that's a sign of number one, getting the right size, knowing how these are going to fit you. And of course, um, a well-made shoe. Okay, well, I, I think you could tell from my gushing that I love these things. Now, they are an investment, right? I mean, they're not inexpensive, which is why it's, it is a limited edition. If you love shoes, uh, you're going to love this. And the display, right? The, the, the overall expression when you open this up, the Bondian moment, the experience is really second to none. I mean, it's so cool. But now we got to talk turkey. Let me get close, overly dramatically so. These are so nice. I, I'm hard pressed to know if I'm gonna actually wear these and that troubles me. Now, hold on a second. I could wear these coming down an elevator. So I'm in the hotel room and I'm at an event and I go down the hotel, down the elevator on a carpeted floor to the event. Then I would wear these. But these soles are so gorgeous, so mirror-like, I, I can't see street wearing these. Now I get it. You can, David, you can resole them. Wear those shoes, gosh darn it. But I don't know, it's just the mentality thing. But I'm like that with everything until I get the first scratch and then I'm like, yay, it broke in. Shoes are meant to be worn. All right, so I'm gonna pledge right now, I am gonna wear these shoes. These are not gonna be gawked at or, or locked in a box somewhere. These are going to be worn. So there you have it. Anyway, 
Crockett and Jones, uh, you nailed it. You knocked it out of the park on this one. Beautiful, beautiful campaign. Uh, really nice experience. Well done from a, a marketing standpoint and well done on the product and well done on the customer service. So yeah, you struck all my high points. Yeah, you did. So thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on this quick review. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.